name is Hyra from Jilly Imus. Okay, I'll post her details. <laughs> Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted the video since I was working on um, three related videos all at the same time. All are pertaining to um, this recently acquired interest of mine, which is really an automotive. So for today's video, I'll be discussing a very interesting topic. Why should you consider a China brand vehicle? Now, I think it's an interesting question because lately, a lot of people would automatically raise their eyebrows when you attach China on anything. Pag, uh, China! Get out! 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 Pag uh, sinabi kasing China, it equates to low quality, uh, rip-offs or knock-offs or class B. And honestly, I can't blame them because there's some uh, truth to it. On this video, we'll just be focusing on cars alone. Yung stigma kasi is very much alive nowadays, even on the auto industry. And I can't blame them because uh, probably 10, 15 years ago, there were some uh, China brand vehicles that came into the market. And honestly, they weren't really competitive at all. So what happened, it just validated the stigma even further. Now in the next parts, I'll be giving you reasons based on my own experience, uh, observation, and investigation, why should you consider a China brand vehicle? Now, these are the same reasons why I got a China brand vehicle myself, which at the end of the video, I'll give you a hint on kung ano yun. Okay? Now, let's start. When I was looking for a car, I didn't really research right away on China brand vehicles. Honestly, wala man talagang pakialam sa kaila. I too had that stigma, and it was very strong inside me. Pero nagkaroon lang ng pake when I started seeing these very nice looking cars with unfamiliar logos sa kalsada. Um, the first ones I saw were the MG ZS. Then I also saw a Geely Cool Ray. Then nakita ko rin isa sa mga Cherry Tigo series. And sa van naman yung Photon Traveler. Talagang ano eh, mapapa head turn ka talaga. Para kunyari nakakita ka ng chicks, di ba? Mapapalingon ka. Dati, dati yun. Diba dati pag uh, nakakita ka ng magandang babae, napapaningon ka. Dati. Ngayon kasi hindi, hindi na eh. Bangong buhay na tayo, diba? Kaya lock ba yung pinto? Okay. So, when I saw these brands, I immediately checked them out. Ando na siya sa radar of options ko. So, immediately, ang ginawa ko is I checked them out sa mga kasa. Ako kasi, when I'm interested at something, um, I try to ask the price right away. Kung wala siya sa price range ko, then medyo off limits na siya. Now, if you were drawn to these cars because of aesthetics, I guarantee you, you will be drawn further because of their price. Yung mga nabanggit kong kotse kanina, uh, yung mga Cool Ray, yung mga ZS, yung mga Tigo, all of them, okay, if not, uh, or most of them, they are priced way lower than their um, uh, compact SUV counterparts and if I'm not mistaken most of them are priced uh, lower than a million okay so you know that they are priced lower and you're thinking possibly malam malamang may drawback to and it would likely most likely be the interior or the features available pero no 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 you would continue to be in awe these uh, China brand vehicles offer the same features and the luxurious interior that uh, other brands and offer means even better now these china brand vehicles they offer features such as auto hold automated um basahin ko na lang ha auto hold automated parking assist hill descent 360 camera electronic stability control digital panel infotainment system cruise control and uh, many more okay by the way Segue lang ako. If you are a car tech newbie and you want to know more about these features, um, I'll be uploading a video. Um, ito yung thumbnail. Okay? So, this video will just provide a basic tutorial on what these features are. Now, at this point, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing with these um, vehicles. But, at face value, 
Oh, maganda yung features niya, maganda yung aesthetics, they have uh, loaded uh, interior. Pero Mekene men, 5 years or 3 years or 1 year after eh karag-karag na yung mga sakyan na yan. So, I started researching about these manufacturers. I watch a lot of uh, car reviews and I uh, of course I checked Wikipedia to validate the information I got from these reviews. So, here's what I discovered. Most car enthusiasts know about this already, pero sa mga newbies, please listen in. These Chinese manufacturers have partnered with uh, well-known brands around the world. And in some cases, uh, they even bought these brands. Okay, so ito yung mga example ng mga cases na yun. Okay, let's start off with Geely. Well, Geely is the largest private manufacturer of cars in China. This uh, company acquired Proton from Malaysia, then Volvo Lotus. Next, Cherry. Cherry is a state-owned Chinese manufacturer of cars, and they have an equal partnership with Jaguar Land Rover. JAC, one of the notable brands in China. Sila naman, they have a partnership with Volkswagen. Now, to confuse with JAC is GAC. This brand has uh, more partner brands compared to the other China brand because its partners uh, include Honda, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, and Toyota. Then there's Chang'an. This brand has just entered the Philippine shores, but it looks like it's coming in strong. This company have joint venture ventures with um, Ford and Mazda. And uh, we have MG. This is actually a British brand, but now being managed by uh, Psych Motors, which is one of the largest automakers in China and based on Wikipedia, they have a partnership with uh, General Motors. Now, as far as the partnership, the acquisition or venture goes, I don't have the detailed information. But what I know is the fact that they have it, it means they share information and resources with one another, okay? Information like R&D or design or safety, technology or durability. Now, my point is, if we trust what's inside these Fords, these Jaguars, these uh, Volkswagens, we may or we might as well trust what's inside these China brand vehicles. So, it's a partnership nga, di ba? Kayo, pag nagka-partner kayo, pag nagka-girlfriend kayo, or nagka-asawa kayo, what you have, you share with them. Minsan pa nga, you share more than what you should be sharing. Minsan pa nga, isusubo mo na lang. Ibibigay mo pa. Going back, so at this point, I considered price, aesthetics, features, interior, and even brand reliability. So, am I convinced now to get a China brand vehicle? The answer is still no. For me, all these are still good in terms of just merely face value. I still need reason to validate this information. Yes, the last information is very much um, convincing, but that wasn't enough for me. So at this point, I started joining the different car owners group or forum in Facebook just to validate how competitive these brands really are. And to be fair, I also joined the non-China brands uh, forum and this is just for me to check the overall temperature of the owners. Now, to my surprise, what I saw in these China brand vehicles forum are passionate and proud owners. Sobrang, they really love the vehicle even after a year or within the year. There were some complaints, oh, may mga konting complaints, pero it wasn't really enough to change the overall impression or mood that is being projected on those forums. I also even had to PM some of the uh, actual owners to get some more information and to ask more questions about their experience or about their vehicles. Oh, next talk ako. Pero honestly, it is worth it. For me, the actual owner's feedback of this vehicle is what really sealed the deal for me in taking that leap and getting a China brand vehicle. 
So those are the top five reasons that I have when I considered getting a China brand vehicle. Now, I also would like to share some noteworthy reasons. These may not be part of my top five, but I still would like to mention them. First up is uh, the local distributor of these vehicles. Most of these vehicles are being distributed by well-established companies here in the Philippines. And because they trust these brands so much, they'd like to extend their trust further to the consumers by putting in extended uh, warranties on their cars or in their engines. Plus, they also throw in one year, three year, or five year free PMS, which honestly gives you a saving, savings of up to uh, around 100,000 pesos. Next is your sales agent. The sales agent that I work with was very um, accommodating, was very pleasing, and was very patient the whole three months I was working with her. It's as if Shara yung bibili ng koche. That's how much or that's how passionate she is in working with her client. So if I were you, I would get someone who is very knowledgeable and at the same time very passionate with her job. So sa akin, her name is Hyra from Gili Imus. Okay? I'll post her details. Damn! I'll post her details in the description below. And another noteworthy reason is your back agent yo. you have to make sure that your back agent is also very accommodating for me your back agent ko is from china bank savings uh, si uh, miss march so if you'd like to work with her i'll post the details as well okay so that's it so those are the reasons that i use or considered when getting a vehicle actually you can also use the same reasons uh, if you're getting a vehicle mapa china brand man o hindi Okay, so if you want to know more about the vehicle that I got, here's a thumbnail. Please check out that uh, vehicle. Okay, and also check out the other video right here um, discussing more about that uh, vehicle. Okay, so anyway, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can see more of my videos. Okay, thank you guys.